worked in dozens of animated TV shows and movies, including voicing the role of Ty in Digimon. He's taken thousands of people on a trip to another state of mind, and now it's your turn, and you get to witness his abilities. Please give it up for hypnotist Joshua Set. your body so you look like a bunch of zombies like this. If I could see you, I'm sure it would look impressive. Everybody, clap your hands together, point your index fingers at the sky, and lock your elbows straight out from your bodies like this. Focus on the tips of your fingers and listen to the sound of my voice. Focus on the tips of your fingers and listen to the sound of my voice. In a moment, I gotta count to three and snap my fingers. When I do, separate just your index fingers about an inch. Stare at the space in between and you will feel very powerful magnets on the tips of your fingers, bringing them back together. That's right, the tips of your fingers will in fact become magnetized together. You make it real in your mind. So don't fight it, don't try to resist. Just want it to happen, know it will happen, expect it to happen, and I promise you on the count of three, it will happen. Here we go, one, two, three. Separate your index fingers about an inch, stare at the space in between, and feel those very powerful magnets begin to bring them back together. Ratcheting and clamping them on down now, closer and closer together. Imagine them winding a string around your fingers, winding straight tighter and tighter and tighter together. Three, two, one, back together. If you felt movement, a round of applause if you felt movement. Oh yeah. Later is that today? When is that? To uh, to find out um, what I did about that. Uh, but uh, but I'm happy to be here. I'm happy to be with all you guys and show you what I've been doing for the last ten years. Uh, I went went out to Hollywood and and voiced I don't know dozens of cartoons. Uh, I played Ty, the leader of the Digimon. I'm the Mon Digimon. <laughs> and um, uh, Tetsuo in Akira. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bunch of many things that we'll talk about in the Q&A and not here. I don't usually mention this at the top of the show, but hey, it's a comic con. Uh, <laughs> but then I left, I went on tour, toured the world with this show that you're going to see uh, now. More recently, I do uh, Mentalism Power, the Mind Show, but this is the show that sort of pulled me away from the Hollywood career and into the world of touring everything from theaters to colleges to comedy clubs to this summer I did the, the Opera House of New Zealand and just all kinds of amazing experiences, um, which again we'll get into in the Q&A. Uh, before I bring people up on stage to participate in the show, get hypnotized, have the time of your lives, I always think it's important to take just a brief moment or two, explain what hypnosis is and is not, because sometimes people get the wrong idea about it from TV and the movies. And I know you've been watching one of those programs if you come up to me before the show, say, hey Joshua, I don't believe you can swing a pocket watch, turn me into a zombie, make me go rob a casino and bring you all the money. And although that's a very interesting idea, you will be correct to be skeptical of that form of hypnosis. That is Hollywood hypnosis. That is TV in the movies. That is, what's the technical term? BS. That is a bunch of BS. <laughs> However, everything you're going to experience on my stage this afternoon, completely natural. And that's because real hypnosis is a legitimate state of mind that we go in and out of many times a day. It's called theta brainwave state. It's what happens when you're having a lucid dream. By round of applause, who's ever had a dream that you were falling and then your body went like that. Congratulations, you've all been hypnotized. That's all there is to it, no more, no less. It's heightened receptivity to suggestion, and you get there through focused relaxation. Ergo, there is no such thing as, I got too strong a mind. I know sometimes people think that, oh, I cannot be hypnotized. I got too strong a mind. Nothing could be further from the truth. I just told you it's focused relaxation. The more you can focus, the deeper down you will go, and one of the ways you know you're a smart person is because you can focus. You can focus, you're smart, smart. Focus, hypnotize them. See how that works. If you're a visually creative person, a lot of very creative people out there, I can tell just by your sewing skills. If you're a visually creative person, you will visually hallucinate the scenarios I spin on stage. You will not imagine them, you will hallucinate them. It's a different part of the brain, a much more powerful experience, and legal even in the state of Florida. <laughs> so far. 
if you're an, if you're an auditory person, like most ladies tend to be, you will always hear the sound of my voice. It will just sound like the sound of my voice is coming from within your own head, and that everything I say is a really good idea. <laughs> That was my best Bill Cosby impression. Oh. <laughs> Too soon. Uh, if you're kidding, you know, it's, 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 I'll, I'll go on that track. It's kind of it's like you stay a little too late at the bar. You have a few too many cervezas. So Mari comes over and whispers in your ear, Hey, Chiquita, Chiquita Banana, go down to the tabletop with that lampshade on your head. And you do it! The only difference is tomorrow after my show, you will not have a headache or a hangover. You will have one big benefit, and that is this. One hour of hypnotic sleep is equal to eight to ten hours of nighttime sleep. So if you guys want to party all night, this is the place for you. Where are my woo girls at? feeling-based person like me. You will get such a charge of energy you won't even believe it because fundamentally it's a transference of energy from me to you. I'm going to tell you what that feels like and show it to you, let you experience it right now. Feet flat on the floor, hands in your lap so they're not touching, roll your shoulders back, just relax. When I snap my fingers, I'll be thinking of a two-digit number less than 50, a two-digit number less than 50, both digits odd, both digits odd, both digits different than each other. Don't try to know the number. Just let the number come to you. When I snap my fingers, I'll be thinking of a two-digit number, a two-digit number less than 50. Both odd, both different. Take a deep breath in, look directly up here at me, know the numbers. By round of applause, who's thinking of the number? 37. Not as many as I would have thought. Here's the thing, that's cool, that's fine. If you knew the number, one of two things happened. If you knew the number, either we've already established a mind-to-mind -mind connection, and that's awesome, or it was a coincidence, and so we're gonna do it again. Make sure it wasn't a coincidence. If you did not know the number, if you did not know the number, think to yourself, did you guess? If you guess, the odds are not in your favor. The math doesn't work out in your favor. So this time, don't guess. Instead of you going to the number, just relax, let the number wash over you, let the number come to you, even more people will get it, I guarantee. Here we go, this time when I snap my fingers, I'll be thinking of a two digit number greater than 50. A two digit number greater than 50. Both digits even, both digits even, both digits different than each other. Two digit number greater than 50, both even, both different. Take a deep breath in, look directly up here at me and know the numbers. Now some of you may have got it backwards, but that's fine. Either way is fine. By round of applause, who's thinking of the number? 68 or 86? <laughs> Very nice. All right. If you knew the numbers, that means you are responsive to suggestion. Congratulations, that means you can learn. It also means you can get hypnotized when I call you up on stage in a moment. If your fingers went together, it means you're physiologically responsive to the suggestibility from my voice. It's good you go under deep. Um, <laughs> you have the time of your lives. All I ask when you come up here, give yourself every opportunity to go into trance. Uh, I don't, that, you don't look like a crowd that's been drinking a lot, but I always say this, if you're under any kind of influence of anything, better to enjoy the experience from the audience because it's a pretty intense experience, very physical experience. Want to keep everybody real safe up here. Same thing, if you've got any broken bones or anything, just enjoy the show from the audience. But for everybody else, if you guys, if you want to basically enter into a dreamlike state where all this stuff that you dress up in becomes real, make some noise. Let's see who we're going to get on up here. Come on.